Our number one priority uh, is like it's always been since the uh, early or, uh, morning hours of this morning, late, late last night, has been to uh, uh, locate this suspect and uh, put him behind bars where he belongs. Um, here's a list of the agencies in which we're here uh, with us on this uh, manhunt. The FBI, U.S. Marshal's Office, DPS, TDC, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, Montgomery County Constable's Office, Precinct 4, ATF, and the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Uh, updates from here on out will be provided by the FBI. Um, and at this time, I'd like to introduce y'all to uh, Special Agent in charge of the Houston area, Mr. James Smith. Good afternoon. So I'm here to talk a little bit about this horrific event that took place this afternoon. The FBI has brought in investigative resources, tactical, and victim services resources to assist in this investigation. We will be here until we are no longer needed to include when the subject is arrested. Ma'am. <clears throat> I also have a, a list of the victims' names. We have talked with the uh, family members of these victims, uh, and at this time, I'm going to give it out. Uh, if I happen to mispronounce someone's uh, name, I, I'm doing it in error. Uh, Sonia Argentina Guzman, 25 years old. Deanna Velasquez Alvarado, 21 years old. Huliska Molina Rivera. 31 years old. Jose Jonathan Casares, 18 years old. And Daniel Enrique Lasso Guzman, 8 years old. We'll take a couple of questions. An update on the search where you guys are at right now. I know that you had that perimeter you know, set off. Is that still where you believe that he is? Well, <clears throat> he, he could be anywhere now. Uh, we we uh, located the, the device that we were looking for, found it abandoned. Uh, there was some articles of clothing laying around. Uh, the tracking dogs from Texas Department of Corrections uh, picked up the scent, and then they lost that scent in the water or, or, or whatever. Uh, so at this time, the area has went from um, five or six uh, uh, square miles, it, it could be as much as 10 or 20, depending on whether or not he crossed the Highline wire. And the device you were looking for, was that the AR-15 weapon? No, ma'am. This this was a, 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 an electronic device. So is it believed that he still has that weapon or could still have that weapon? No, we believe we have that weapon, uh, but we, we don't know if he is or is not carrying a, a smaller weapon. And when you say electronic device, is it a cell phone, like a iPad or something, could you elaborate on what it is? Yes, ma'am, it, it, it's a cell phone. Had he been in communication with anyone in the last 10 hours? Yes, sir. When was the last time he was in communication with someone? Um, I'm, I'm not exactly clear on that. That would be up to the investigators with the FBI, uh, and, and the, the they have all the big technological equipment. Now that the five could victims, be... were, there, were, there, were there other people who were injured? No, sir. The, 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 there, were, there was 10 people in the house. Five are deceased and five are alive. Uh, and they, they weren't hurt at all? No injuries on the other side? Sure. No, no physical injuries. Sheriff, is the suspect a homeowner? Is, was he the homeowner of that, of that house? Uh, it, to, to my knowledge, yes, ma'am, he is. I, that has not been verified. How long has he lived at that residence? I could not answer that question. Now that this perimeter has went from small to 10 to 20 miles, what are you guys doing now? What are the next steps? Well, all of that's being handled by the FBI. <coughs> so right now, again, we're, we're still out there trying to find this individual. Um, we consider him armed and dangerous, and we're not going to stop until he, we actually arrest him and put, bring him into custody. But he is out there, and he's a threat to the community. So I don't want anyone to think that, that that's something different than that. He is a threat to the community, and we need the community's help to um, hopefully locate him soon and take him off the streets tonight. But however, I will say this, we do not ask the community to take the matters into their own hands. Please call 911 if you happen to see this individual out there. Do you still think he's traveling by, you said, he's on foot, on a bicycle? Do you think he may have got as far as to a vehicle now, or we're still thinking that he's... 
But right now, we just don't know. Uh, we believe he's on foot, but we do not know. We're, we're still trying. I mean, we have a perimeter up out there right now with Texas DPS and the Sheriff's Department. So we, we're still actively out there trying to locate him and bring him into custody. Earlier, we had information that the suspect was cornered. So is, that's not accurate any longer. That is not accurate, no. Sheriff, all, all official was... information is going to come from the FBI Houston field office. At this point, we're assisting the San Antonio County Sheriff's Office. So any other information, we will not consider it official unless it's coming from either one of these two sources. One more question. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Can you update yeah. on his immigration status? Uh, no, ma'am, I can't. That we need to ask the Department of Homeland Security for, for that information. Sure, but people, do you have neighbors that we talked to talked about that like, it was common for people to fire their guns there on weekends at night. I, I was sure, is it illegal to do that or, or not? And if so, were you all ever called out there for this particular suspect for that? For that? Yeah, yes, sir. We have uh, made, made uh, that residence in, in the past. I, I, I cannot sit here and tell you how, how many times. But yes, there, there have been a, a couple of calls there for that type of behavior. Is that firing weapons? Yes, and is, that, is, that, is that illegal then under Texas law? Well, well, that, that it, yes and no. Uh, if, if, if I had a, uh, a place as big as this and my house is there, then it, it would not be. But if it's in a smaller subdivision, something like what they're living in, yes, it could very easily be construed to be uh, uh, illegal. It just kind of depends on where the, where the weapon's pointed. Thank you all very much.